We do. <laughs> we are back. 836, our ongoing series, Money Saving Monday. A mm -hmm. friendly reminder, tax day is just over a week away, April 18th this year. If you are among the nearly 25% of Americans who have yet to file, guess what? Stephanie Rule is here with some smart mm -hmm. last-minute tips and tricks. Some of them could actually boost your refund. Oh, good. Stephanie, good morning. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. When you talk about taxes, we feel better. It gets exciting. Right? <laughs> it Everybody does. loves talking about taxes. <laughs> taxes. Got eight days to go. I know. It's so sexy. Okay, let's talk about the process, like where in the tax filing process we can save the most money. Okay, you know this, but you have to actually do it, right? Deductions, are, credits and deductions mm -hmm. are the best way you're going to do it. What are the most popular ones? A portion of your mortgage, right? The interest you pay, you can get a deduction there. How about going green? Home improvements mm. you do that make your house more energy efficient. If you decide to buy an electric vehicle, you could get a bonus. Everybody likes a little credit, and then we hear about it, but you have to actually remember to put it when you file that expanded child tax credit. If you are a parent out there, I want you to get that credit. Okay, and credit comes right off the top of your, your bill. Correct. Better than a deduction either. Okay, now there's some, like, those are the ones everyone knows. What about these ones that are off the beaten path, these credits and deductions? Okay, actually, I think we, I think oh. this screen is still going to be here. Yes. I think it just showed up. Well, I followed. Oh, sorry, sorry. I left you too soon. <laughs> Tax, sweetie. Okay. okay. Other credits and deductions. These ones are really important because we don't know. How about when you go to the doctor? I want you to save that receipt because depending on what your income is, mm -hmm. if you have a qualified medical expense and it's 7.5% of your adjusted gross income, you could deduct that. You're going, what in the world are you talking about? So let's say you make $40,000 yeah. and you have a $10,000 medical expense. Yeah. You could potentially deduct $7,000. I love that. Okay. Now, Talk about business so you have travel. To have, it's for big medical expenses. Big medical expenses, and you have to qualify depending okay. on how much you make. How about if you go on vacation and you combine it with a business trip, right? You go on a business trip for three days, you tack on a few days sounds at the end. That sounds like Audit City. Not necessarily. No? Well, I would say talk to a tax professional okay. about how you're going to pull <laughs> I'm out, on a business pull out vacation. the business expense, okay. maybe the travel associated with that. Okay. And the last one, really important. Let's say you're in the service, right? You're in reserve. You're, you're in the National Guard, and they ask you to travel travel more than 100 miles, yeah. and you didn't get to expense that part of it, it was unreimbursed, you get to expense that travel, possibly your meals. I okay. want to make sure you get that. And this is an important last one. Everyone goes, oh my gosh, I've been doing work from home. Can I write it off? Yeah. That is if you work for yourself or you if, or, and, and or you have a side hustle business and you have a dedicated area in your house, yeah. not like your kitchen table, yes, you can write that off. You can, but there's a lot of fine print there. A lot of fine print. <laughs> yeah, right? don't, don't mess get with, cute. Don't, don't get, get cute. cute. Yeah. Okay, side hustle deductions. Though. Okay, so again, so if you, during the pandemic, you were just talking about all the things people were doing, starting businesses, yeah. if you've got a side hustle, there are deductions for you. If you're using your car, you might be able to duck miles. Anything associated with your business, shipping, websites mm. you're using, your home internet, supplies, the insurance, if you're self-insured, your medical, your dental, but just make sure that's if you work on your own. If you suddenly work for a big giant company going, oh, I need to ship something, I'm gonna write it off, that's a no. Okay, and no, oh, is that it? She's, she's Wasn't done, there an earned income tax credit you wanted to tell me about? I Oh, I thought I was here, gosh, <laughs> okay. yes. EITC, this is really important. This is for folks that are making less than $73,000, excuse me, $59,000 a year. You might be able to get a tax credit depending on how big your family is. I want you to go to irs.gov, go to their calculator to figure out exactly how much you're eligible. Could be up to seven grand. Okay, it's cool. It's really important. Okay, now you can talk to her. Uh, you got me? All right, I, let's talk long game. A lot of people save money for education or they save money for retirement. There's tax money there? There are tax advantages, okay. right? Your 529 college savings, yeah. right? If you put that money aside now and you take it out later specifically yeah. for education, you're not going to pay taxes on it. Okay. Remember your health savings account. And of course, I always talk to you guys about this, your IRAs, your retirement accounts. Pe young people especially think, I don't want to do yeah. care about retirement. Do it. You, we always talk about how much we have to pay to the government. Yeah. These are tax advantage strategies. I want you to take them. Okay, come down here. Last. This is the last panel. Some people can file for free. <laughs> I like how you mosey. Uh, you know, I'm trying to make it exciting for you. <laughs> she's I wish down, down the road. She's exciting. I wish I was giving you an egg dancing. salad recipe <laughs> after Easter. I'm not. I'm okay, this is taxes. even better. Okay, yes. let's talk about how you can get some free help. Okay, everybody can file for free. It doesn't yeah. cost anything to file. However, 
If you make less than $73,000 yeah. a year, I want you to go to the IRS website. And go to irs.gov slash free file. Free file. And there's actually guided help. They're going oh. to help you do it. It's really hard. So for anyone who's going, I don't want to deal with my taxes. I just put my receipts in a shoebox. Don't yeah. do it. Go to the website today because I don't want it to be April 20th. You didn't file, and the next thing you know, you're going to be getting or fees and fines. paying for a fee you, yes. don't, you don't need to pay for. You don't for. need it. It's right there for you if you make less than $73,000. Ease on down, <laughs> ease on down. The tax And now an egg salad recipe. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You are cuckoo. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.